What's going on, YouTubers? My YouTube base group. It's your boy Ray coming at you with another him base lesson. Just got done doing holy, holy, holy. Sh now I'm about to do pass me not. Pass me not, oh gentle savior. Hear my humble cry. That's how I do sing at my dad's church. It's hilarious. So I recite the words. This is another famous hymn across all denominations or whatnot. And the words are, Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. The refrain or the vamp or the chorus, whatever, is Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Alright, so I'll play it. I'm going to play it in C sharp. Alright, and again, remember the pattern and the progression. Because that will always do you good. Alright, so I play it first, all the way through, then I tell you what I, I'm doing. One. Alright, that's the whole hymn, and I just gave you, that's just a, a, the, a easy way to play the hymn. Of course, you could, you know, do different things to come to the same note, but I just wanted to give you like a simple way to play it and everything. Then after I give you the notes today, I give you a different way how you could like, you know, spice it up or whatnot with different progressions and turnarounds and walk down. Real, And that's real easy too. So, <clears throat> the first one is... Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. That verse. Yo, turn that TV down. All right, so the first is you hit on C sharp. And then you just walk up from, from F to A flat. Every note. That's like the shout run. All right, so that'd be 3, 4, flat 5, flat 3, 4, flat 5, and 5. So 1, 3, four flat five and go to the one hear my humble that you do that uh, flat five which is G here five my humble then you do uh, a three six two five one walk down Wow the same thing on uh, just keep going up uh, you hit the the flat six and the six, which is A B flat. Then do E flat two five pass me by. Then you just do three four five six seven one. Then then uh that brings you to Savior. So so not pass me by. I'm crying, say, same thing, oh, say, as the first verse, flat, five, here, then three, six, two, five, one, repeat it, to the B flat, two, five, me by turn 
turn around all the way up to the B flat only do not pass me by So that's basically it, and all I was doing with that is just just use the octave. It sound good. Alright, so that's the, the simplest way to play it. Now, that's like, I would say that's not be, really beginner. That's, you can't go wrong with that. But if you want to do something else, because on different times I might, you know, <clears throat> use different methods or different progressions to go to the same exact notes. Alright, so let's say on Pass Me Not, O Gentle Savior. Savior, hear my humble cry. Okay, so I I play it, then I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So I just take it from the top again, and then the change is when it, uh, while on others thou art calling. All right, so. Right, so all that was I that's just played Pass Me Out Gentle Savior, Hear My Humble Cry. All right, because all I did was a, a six, six, two, five, yeah, six. Oh, I'm tripping, six, two, five, one, four turnaround. And I did a lesson on a circle of fifths. So if you haven't checked that out, you don't know what I'm talking about, check that out, and that should help you. What I'm doing, but all I did was instead of going back to the beginning, I just did a uh, you know a common turnaround and everything so let's take it from the top pass me not oh gentle say we are here my humble cry the same turnaround six two five I, instead of going back to the one I go to the six and I do the turnaround six two five one four Instead of hitting this, the B flat, I hit the diminish or the flat five, which is the G. So, wow, on others thou art call, all in. Then you just do the same thing. Do not pass me by. And all that was five, six, one, five. I mean, five, six, two, five, one. Alright, and the second thing that you could could be another alternate way you play is Savior. So do not pass me by I show you. So, Savior, all I did was just, I learned. and all the notes I'm hitting is every note from the 6 all the way into the, yeah, every note from the 6 to the 4, alright? 
So just remember that in case you play in every key. If you want to do this one, it's just from the one, every note, then every note from the six to the four. Say, have your hit the flat five, then five here, my hump, then the three, six, two, five, one. I mean, instead of when you get to the five, then you just do that six, two, five, one, four, turn around. The diminish note. All right, and all that is that's the same progression. It's just I'm hitting every note before the uh, the root note. So if the root note is six, two, five, one. All right, so that would be every note before the six. It would just be A flat five. I mean flat six six flat two two flat five five then seven one. So remember that progression, or it's just you just follow it down. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I just gave you, you know, a real simple, easy way to play where you, whereby you won't forget it. And I gave you a different way to, you know, to spice it up with turnaround. And I'm trying to tell you, I'm, I'm be keep it 100. If you do that 6-2-5-1 turnaround, like even if you're a beginner bass, bass player and y'all play that, keyboard organ is going to look at, at you like, yo, what you know about that turnaround? I didn't show you that yet. But it's a nice turnaround to use. It's just... A different way to get from the the one to the four. You just doing uh, more notes and whatnot, but it it's used all the time. Whether if it's broken up or it's together, that turnaround is used a lot. A lot of turnarounds. That's what music mainly is. Like half of the ways I got to my different notes was by turnarounds. Or turnarounds just means it's a circle, just like a circle of fourth is just turnaround or whatnot. And and this is a good song where you can hit when it, the diminished notes come in. You know, uh, you can do stuff to make your diminished notes stand out. Just like when we got... Um, no, that's not it. I'm crying. Oh. While on others thou art called. No. Pass. Be not a oh, gentle savior. All right, so you do that. Anytime you get on the diminished, and I did a uh, a lesson a few months back that's on my page on what to do with diminished notes, and you can check that lesson. And you know, if you do it the second way, I did it. That lets the diminished notes. <coughs> excuse me. That lets the diminished notes stick out more or whatnot. And when it sticks out more, you can add them tritone. Or you just. So, like the way I did it before. I'm crying, say. Say. Hear my humble cry. Or call holy. And sometimes I'm not gonna lie to you, I just do it that way just so I can add either that harmonic. And all that was is C sharp G, and you just take everything up a minor third to E flat, B flat. I mean to E B flat. C sharp G E B flat. So I'm crying, sing, sing, hey, hey, you.
All right, so just I just gave you a lot. It's 15 minutes, so hopefully, you know, a lot of people got something on this or whatnot. I'm just keep do like maybe three, four more hymns just so I can have it there, so people know, you know, I'm versatile. I can I'm not just doing like one type. I'm here for y'all. So with that being said, continue to comment, subscribe, and like. Give me your feedback because I'm doing it for y'all, people, my friend, my contemporary bass players. All right, one love.